Hello and um, welcome to the next video. We've got the next uh, question from section A, question three and four. It's a four mark question here and a five mark question. And you can see it tells you what the topic is, but in case you need to look it up or you need to go back and revise it, solving simultaneous equations. So that's um, okay. You probably didn't notice that. I just paused the video and I had to. Uh, get up from the chair, which you can hear creaking in the background, maybe, um, and shut the door. So anyway, well, question three. So what are we doing? We're solving these simultaneous equations. So the idea to solve these simultaneous equations, so these ones are where we've got two uh, equations with uh, just uh, linear coefficients. So we've got uh, an linear coefficients. No, that's not true. Um, with uh, a linear A and linear B, OK? so. Let's have a look how these work. We want to try and get one of them the same. So you can either make the A's the same, or you can make the B's the same. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make the A's the same in this case. And so I'm going to multiply first equation by 5, the second equation by 4. You can multiply by different numbers. If you wanted to make the B coefficients the same, then you could do that. So let's rewrite out. So 1 becomes really becomes. 20a plus 15b is equal to 110. And if I multiply the second equation, equation 2 by 4, I get 20a. And you can see now we've got the coefficients of a in the same. Minus 16b is equal to uh, 172. So, should be okay now. Let's do a big well, we want to so eliminate. This is the elimination method. So we want to subtract these. So we're going to do the uh, top, take away the bottom to subtract the a's. So 20a minus 20a is nothing. Be careful here with your negative signs. 15b minus minus 16b actually gives us a positive 31b. And, uh, and then what do we get here? So 110, oh, this is a bit annoying. 110 minus 172 gives us minus 62. Okay, so we've got to be really careful here. And what does that give us? Well, divide both sides by 31. B is minus 62, it gives us minus 2. So we found the value of B, but we want to find out the value of A as well. So we're going to use our value of uh, B to help us along. So I'm just going to change color. So we're now going to substitute B into, well, which one looks easier out of these original equations? I reckon this top one looks uh, easier because we've got all positive numbers and slightly smaller numbers as well. So I'm going to substitute it into equation 1. So I've got 4A plus 3 lots of our B, which we now know is minus 2 is equal to 22. And you can see this is a simple linear equation just in our a's now. So we get 4a minus 6 is 22, or 4a is equal to 28, which leads us to the conclusion that a must be 7. And I'm clearly identifying my answer for b here and my answer for a. Well, we could go ahead and check this. We could go ahead and check these work just by substituting into question two. So in our heads, well, let's do a quick check. So use a question two. So five lots of A is five sevens. So five lots of seven, take away four lots of minus two, and we're supposed to get the answer 43. So five lots of seven is 35, minus minus is plus eight, is 43. That certainly works, we know we're on the right lines. Okay, so just recap. Uh, I made my coefficients of a's and b's it's the same, and then um, a's all be the same. In this case, I chose a, and then did a subtract. Sometimes you have to add to, to, to eliminate one of these uh, coefficients, to eliminate uh, one of the variables, sorry, a or b. In this case, I subtracted, being careful with my negatives, found a value for b, resubstituted that into, into one of the equations got a value for A, and then I just checked. This one's a little bit more tricky. So this one over here, you can see here, this one's kind of uh, a linear equation. We've actually got a quadratic 
equation here. So we've got a w squared. It makes our life a little bit easier. Uh, a little bit easier, a little bit more difficult even. Now there's a couple of ways you can do it. Sometimes you can rearrange the equation and substitute in. I'm going to make, um, well, if both of these expressions, if this and this are V equals, then it must be the same thing. So 4w squared must be the same as wv minus, w, uh, 4w squared must be the same as 9w minus 5. Only if, because you can see that these both these v's are single v's on their own. So here I've created a quadratic equation, so that's w minus 5 uh, plus 5 equals 0. So this is, I've created a, quadra a quadratic equation here. Okay, So let's try and factorise this if we can, because factorising equations uh, often leads to a quick solution if we can get one. So we've got, what have we got here? Four, well, let's try just to start 4w and w. That's going to give us the 4w squared. And then the two numbers to multiply to make 5 must be 1 and 5. So it's going to be in some combination. I need to make a minus. So I'm guessing they're going to be both negative. And if I put try and put a 1 in here and a 5 in here, what do I get? I get 4w squared. I get minus w minus 20w, which is minus 21w plus 5. So I've got this bit right and this bit right, but this bit, the 9w was wrong. So, easy way to check we're on the right lines is put the 5 and the 1, swap them over. So we get 4w squared, um, what do we get? Minus 4w minus 5w is 9w now which is good, and we get a plus 5. We could probably tell that the 5 had to be in the same bracket as the 4. If it was in this one, it would be multiplied by the 4, and it gets a really big number. Anyway, we can go ahead and solve this now. So either 4w minus 5 is equal to 0 from this equation, from, from this bracket, or w minus 1 is equal to 0 from this bracket. So the right-hand one is straightforward gives us a solution w is 1, and the left-hand one gives us the solution that uh, w must be 5 quarters or 5 over 4. Job not done, however. Unfortunately, some people finish there and they go, ah, I'm done. We've got, like we did in this question, we've got to work out both values of the variables. In this one, it was a and b. Here, we've got to work out the value of w and v. Well, we've done w. We now need to work out the equivalent values of v. So I'm going to use I'm going to use equation to the non-quadratic one because it, I think it's going to make my life a little bit easier. But it'll work in both as long as it's correct. So for this value of w, divide down the middle, tells me that v has got to be nine lots of our answer. So it's going to have to be 45 over 4 minus 5, which is... 25 over 4. Okay? So, when W is 5 over 4, V is 25 over 4. When W is 1, using the second equation again, we get 9 lots of 1 minus 5, which is 9 minus 5, which is 4. So, this time we get a pair of solutions. We get one solution for with W and V paired up, and we have another pair, which is W and V paired up over here, okay? So if you need to go back and rewind and watch any of this, or you need to go and look up some of equations on your own, then you need to go and do that.